Okay, good morning. Uh, name's Bo Clayton. I'm the bloke with the Hummer. Too white to go through the track, so I built this for a Fraser Island trip, just to take you through it slowly. She's got a 10,000 pound Platinum Series uh, water winch under it, so should be good there to pull anything out. It's got all the latest equipment on it. It's got the light force, 1735 meters, HIDs. Uh, it's got the quad optics LEDs on the front. It's 1100 meters this light bar. It's awesome. We've got the quad optics at the front there, all hidden in the uh, rack. ARB uh, bull bar, compliments of ARB Mandra, done me a really good job here. Uh, various aftermarket things, aftermarket headlights, aftermarket grill. Uh, had the scoop made in Melbourne by a bloke, done a really good job there. Uh, it's got the Arctic truck flare kit on it, had that imported from uh, Durban in South Africa. Okay. On the uh, induction system here, we'll just take you through this. Moonlight fabrication, you will not get a better induction system. This thing fits like a glove, no rattling, no squeaks, no groans, and it just sucks awesomely. So this is really good. Uh, all the tyres and wheels were imported from America. Eight tyres, eight rims, match the trailer. Upgraded brakes on the front and back of the Hilux. Upgraded axles. Upgraded the uh, gear ratios in both diffs and e-lockers front and back. Uh, theoretically, I've done all the homework. This thing shouldn't get stopped on the sand. It's, what it's built for is for sand driving. Hence the width of the tyres. Uh, copied the uh, Hilux little uh, stripe there, but done a little bit of a twist to it, and you'll see that on the camera. Underneath, if you look underneath at the front, I've got uh, the ultimate suspension. It's what they run on NATO and the Army stuff. You won't get a better suspension. It's half again more expensive than down the road, but no CV joints will chop out, and you've got 100% reliability if you're in the sand. All the bar work on this car was done by Chris of Stainless and Alloy Manufacturing. You will not get better bar work. It's all custom made to the right size to hold the right weight. It's all powder coated by Chris Powder Coaters in Pinjara. Again, you just can't beat their work. They sandblast everything before they powder coat it, so it's never going to chip. It really sticks well. Ryan from Frontier RV done my electrics uh, in this car, so the wiring is uh, really neat, precise, everything's soldered, everything's heat shrunk. Twin aerials, one's for the radio, one's for the CB radio, of course. Moving on to the back, full custom highlights here, aftermarket tail lights, ADR approved by the way. Uh, rear bar, custom made, really good job. And then coming on to the trailer. Trailers are one-off. I wanted something to more or less match the Hilux, but I wanted something different from everybody else. So we've got an extended cab well body here. Again, Chris of Stainless Alloy done this for me. Brilliant job. Every other job he gets, he just gets better and better. He's got a short learning curve. He's a nice person. Definitely worth going to his company. Uh, same wheels, the tyres that's on the Hilux. Gaffer suspension, independent. Really good off-road suspension. This little unit here has twin 120 amp hour batteries, solar panels, generator, hot water system, pull-out kitchen. It's just it's self-contained. 250 liters of water underneath. It's got ramps. It's got a winch to pull the quad in and out. Rooftop tent, gaudy gear, 1.65 wide, plenty of room to spread out. It's got the batwing awning, solar panels on the top, more storage for my front runner paddle tires, and my quad in the back. Moving on further back to the unit, all the bar work on this is actually stainless steel, also made by Chris, where you see this following the bodywork, Chris Stainless and Alloy. Done all my bar work at the back, my jerry can holders, uh, he was uh, involved in doing the spare wheel carrier, it's all custom, nothing, nothing is normal. On the Hilux and on the camper trailer I have two marine hi-fis, They'll both talk to each other, and I have wakeboard speakers. So, plenty of music when you're out fishing, camping, so enjoy yourself. Four cameras on this, radio controlled cameras from the cab of the Hilux. One over each arch, one over the, one over the tow system, and uh, one on the reversing system. Yeah. Okay, well this side, 
has just the generator, it's only backup, has my hot water system, it's got a removable flue on it. Uh, this side is not all full yet, but this will have like cables in it and hose pipes and a few other things. This is just a storage side, not much on this one. Uh, the actual shower fits under here, under the roof, folds out, and then you've just got, and it's big enough for two as well, so that's really good. Moving around to the kitchen side. Full power system on, marine hi-fi. It's got a couple of little pieces here to show you. Top drawer system, comes out six drawers. Keep all your lightweight stuff in there, all your toilet paper and things like that. Just all your incidentals. There's a storage underneath here as well. Store in there. I love cooking while I'm away, so old Chris, stainless and alloy, went a little bit uh, overboard for me on this, but it's great. A full pull-out kitchen. I've got my freezer, my wet bar area, this cooktop, this comes up to reflect the wind, just like this, folds up, so I've got no wind blowing out anything, that's really good there. And then when I want to do my roast, pull this one out, got a full barbecue. All plumbed in, all ready to go. This is my freezer. Also, considering I love cooking, we decided to put this in. You've got to have your condiments. So if you're going to come to my party in the middle of nowhere, I'll cook for you, okay? The engine on this thing. Took it down to G Turbo in Balcata. Graham done his magic for me. Uh, without these tyres, come up at 340 horsepower at the rear wheels. Lost 60 horsepower to the rotational weight of these big tyres, but uh, 340 at the trans. I'm really happy with it. Doesn't blow very much smoke. Uh, will show a clean set of hills to a V8 Land Cruiser with the trailer on. Impressive, impressive. Gearbox has been tricked up and has a manual locking. Uh, button for the converter. So if I'm in sand or I'm doing a hill, de a hill descent, I can lock the converter and just come down nice and slow. Good thing about it is if you're doing 40 kilometers an hour in second gear in the sand, you can lock the converter and just use the engine torque. You're not overheating any, any oil in your gearbox. Fantastic little weapon this thing is. Motor, very tractable. Uh, can't say enough about it. It's reliable. Awesome little thing. Awesome. All you need for this lot. I've got three lights here. Two are in the kitchen here for cooking, and one is the front over the gas bottles. And then I've got a tray set of three tray lights underneath the tray, and then I've got a cabin light which is in the tent when the tent is up, which is a dimming LED. The good thing about this system is we try to compact it as low as possible. So what we have here is these speakers, I'm unable to get the quad out with the speakers. So what we did is on the back poles, we installed two actuators. So if you just look at this system here, this comes up over half a meter. liter water tank underneath. The axe, cut a bit of firewood. In here, two uh, 10 kilo gas bottles. My uh, giant bike for getting incidentals in small towns so I don't have to run around. It's a uh, good little bike. Up on the top here, we have another storage panel. In here, I have my uh, outdoor seats and 
and uh, a small ladder to reach various parts of the trailer. And up on top, uh, a 130 watt solar panel. It's on hinges, so there's storage underneath it. So this constantly just charges with the red arc system that's in here. We'll trickle charge the batteries. Uh, the red arc system in here has a full setup like a normal camper trailer. It'll charge on uh, power from a cord, it'll charge from solar, and it'll charge from a generator. All right, it's fully switchable between the modes and does it automatically. So uh, again, this is all thanks to stainless and alloy. Chris, his father, done all the wiring on the trailer for me and what an excellent job he's done. Okay, just in case you're wondering about this spare tire, how I get it off, this rack custom made by Chris, stainless and alloy. Big set of hinges here on the existing bar. So what we do is we open up the back tray. There's two clamps on this side. Can you open up the clamps? These legs swing round, land on the top here. This rubber here connects with the top so it doesn't mark anything. And then this will actually come up to 45 degrees to allow me to get into my battery boxes at the back and my storage. But it will also come down into the tray, it almost touches the bottom of the tray, which allows me to take my spare wheel out of the back. Not much else to tell you, I'm ready for Fraser Island. Uh, so if you see me, flash your lights, give me a flash. This job, this custom built six months, and uh, I'm really happy with it. Everybody that helped me on this, I'd like to thank you. It's they've done a really excellent job. Everybody went above and beyond, so really appreciate it. More toys in the pipeline.